With every breath, we breathe out data. Data that is vital to developing an understanding of our health. Capturing this data could really transform the pharmaceutical and healthcare sector by advancing respiratory medical studies, accelerating clinical trials, and um, ultimately enabling uh, early diagnosis and management of lung diseases. And now, thanks to cutting-edge research at the University of Oxford, a new device has been developed that allows more precise data capture than ever before. The gases that we breathe in and out tell us about the way in which oxygen is utilised within the lung. The molecular flow sensor measures very precisely the gas concentrations in people's breath using laser absorption spectroscopy when combined with flow measurements that allows us to make very precise measures of gas exchange. This works on the principle that the different gases in the breath absorb laser light or radiation at different frequencies. So you can use lasers to selectively probe the concentrations of each of the gases that you breathe. This builds a picture of important physiological characteristics that can't be determined by looking at airway concentration data alone. By measuring the concentration of gas breath by breath and utilising these accurate data in conjunction with a computational model of the lung, we can extract important physiological parameters of the lungs. Standard techniques for measuring oxygen consumption and carbon dioxide production are probably accurate to one in every 20 molecules that we breathe in and out. The technique that we've developed is accurate to about one in 500 molecules, so it's a very big improvement in the precision. And since its development, the precision of this non-invasive device has proved incredibly useful. For example, the instrument has revealed previously undetectable consequences of smoking, measured the effects of different treatments in asthma patients, and has helped investigations into both cystic fibrosis and long COVID. The molecular flow sensor was developed through collaboration between chemists, physiologists, computer modelers, and clinicians. It has been built on optical, mechanical, signal processing, and computational expertise. This partnership could um, really help clinicians um, with the diagnosis and management of their patients, ultimately leading to better patient outcomes.